Right, so it's our last day here in Pattaya. We are just waiting for our taxi to take us to Bangkok. We have got one more day in the Ex Vibe Hotel in Bangkok, and then we are heading to the airport tomorrow. Right, so we're back here in Bangkok and we've checked back into the X2 Cross2 Vibe Hotel just off Suck and Vit. And because they recognised us from last time, we were really fortunate they gave us an upgrade. We're in one of the superior rooms, so I thought I'd give you a quick room tour. So just like the other room, they have an area that you can store your suitcase and kind of an open plan wardrobe. And they do have a safe and we're really fortunate because we always need big safes for our laptops and camera equipment. So it's really helpful to have a massive safe because it fits uh, um, MacBook in and stuff like that and then this is kind of the main room so we have kind of a desk which is really nice um, lots of space here on the desk and on this side of the desk we also have a, a double bed with a flat screen TV here one thing that I really like about this room as well is they've got lots of light so you've got uh, a window here and a window here that I'll show you the view of in a minute um, but there's also kind of a little chair seating area here and then a sofa area here so this is a view from one of the windows we are actually on soy 52 just off Succumbit so you can see some of the road here and around the area are like apartment buildings it's quite a residential area so you can see different apartment buildings around here and then down here you can see a little waterway as well which is very nice so this is a little balcony area that overlooks the swimming pool and over here as well you've got the soy, uh, we're on soy 52 so you've got the rest of the soy here and just around this corner, let me just try and point, just around this corner here is a 7-Eleven so it's super convenient if you're here travelling and we, we always use it to go get some water and things like that. And here we have the bathroom, so it's quite a large bathroom, there's a nice area here uh, with the sink and the big mirror, there I am, and over here we have my favourite part. It's a gigantic bathtub. I love a place with a bathtub, so I'm super happy they've got one in here. And just around the corner, we have a rainfall shower. Now, Callum loves anywhere with a rainfall shower, so I'm sure he'll appreciate that. So one thing I really like about this hotel is that it's in a really residential area. So you've got lots of kind of local bars and restaurants around here, but it's not in the centre of the city. So we visited Bangkok before and we really enjoyed it, but it was in the centre, it was really busy, it was difficult to kind of get to and from quite often because we weren't next to a BTS. So if we wanted to do anything other than the bigger tourist attractions, when you stay on Koh San Road, for example, you only have kind of that area it's quite difficult to get in and out of it especially as well because taxis are quite difficult to get here in Bangkok on the meter so what I really like about this area is that it's very residential it's very local and I know the hotel at the moment are doing like a live like a local campaign so if you're coming to Bangkok but want to kind of experience what it's like to live here then I would definitely recommend this hotel and this area to stay in. It's got a really nice kind of neighbourhood feel to it. So that's just a quick room tour. I thought it'd be quite interesting to share the different types of rooms that you can get here at the X2 Hotel. We are going to head out. We haven't had our lunch yet so I think we're going to head out um, and have a look for some food around the area and then I also want to pop to Tesco. There's a Tesco Lotus here that have some western products like they have Nivea lotion and stuff like that that I want to stock up on before I go back to China. So we are here in Tesco's, we have picked up some paracetamol and some eye contact lens solution because I'm running out and I forgot to get some in England and then we're just going to have a look around and see if there's any snacks or anything that we are missing that we can't get in China. Right, so that's us 
done with Tesco's, we're gonna head back to the hotel, freshen up, have some lunch, and then we're gonna head out in the evening.